Keller's house, in the middle of the wood, there's a secret and we're going to keep it that way. But every fine evening we started away there with uh, a few reels. Um, Condon Ho was playing ball on there with me, a man very famous for that. We're going to Only going to stay in. carry on there <laughs> though with um, a song from a local chap in Ballyvoney, uh, John Joe Bourke, uh, a song that uh, he already wrote himself, a song called Corrig Styro. So I think maybe he'll give an introduction himself. Uh, hello, uh, my name is John Zobok. I wrote this song originally. I wrote it in Irish uh, for Borna Gaelga, uh, for the Borna Gaelga competition in Dublin, which uh, <laughs> uh, Julie won and got trophies, etc. So then some local people couldn't understand Irish that well, so they wanted me to uh, get an English version with, so I wrote an English version with, so it got on very well after that anyway. This is the song, it's about Carragastair, uh, the local famine graveyard. and what happened there in 1847, which a lot of people probably would like to forget, but however, this is the way the world is. My friends in this place, come here, ye my tale of the woes of this world and the sorrows of the gale. Of a black valley of death and down in high fame at Cardigus Dahira where we lost the game. Oh, Cardigus Dahira, go to Lanlock now. Marder hold down a compagus curse of his errand boss. One day in my crew will doubt harvest our food. Sure plague, death, and famine in the arid brood. 
and the pale face of death is made bitter reverie place while the devil on horseback by the salonded race a ship in Cove Harbor wait much for it lay but the Saxons deplored it and they sent it away saying return to Turkey to Suleiman's fire for there is no famine in our great empire on the road to carry I traveled one day and many dead families at the car took they lay men women and children by the fences they did lie by the penal laws without food they would die oh hell a hand a gawkul bitter are your screams with the landlord on your cabin breaking the roof beams you lie on your litter with a plague in your bones while the dog need your bed he chewed on your child's bones the landed gentry the insult more made by the excuse of plague sure the poor they betrayed and ye who drew flagstones for no chapel so fine lying carrying a styra need piles of quick lime in the poor house there was howling wailing and scream Ach, the bundles of black rags on the dark street did stream for the claws of the dead. Fight did commence. Ach, a great heart, great horror to the dead give offense. Now the shovels they did labor by night and by day, and carts filled with children on the clay they did lay, and hundreds of corpses they came day on day. But the gripe did not fill, twas my sorrow to say. I fled from that awesome place to salon with the crows. But the mill of death, it followed me, and mighty were its blows. And the air was all bitter with the cabins of flame and the fields filled with black stalks of woe and a great shame. A vikil mark a warul bitter is your stride with your children all dead no baptism nor bride 
for the clergy grow better for the work that you did fell and you died on the quern stones of Godfrey's black mill. O oh God, in your glory, tell me the reason why this nation, this tribe did all perish and die. I ask you, the Queen of Prophets, to ask your son why the girl here must perish neath this dark bitter sky of Carigus Thyra, the field of the bones where down made his camp and he called death so called Shiro Well Kari Mahaga. Right, that was uh, John Joe Buck there. Uh, I'd like to remember he like him. Uh, we're going to continue with uh, a workmate of Johnny's. Uh, Dick Dineen, I think originally from uh, Kilcourtney. And he's going to give us a number, I think, the garden where the prairies grow. <laughs> Have you ever been in love, me boys, or have you felt that pain? Sure, I'd rather be in jail myself than be in love again. The girl I loved was beautiful, I want you all to know that I met her in the garden where the pretties grow. For she was just the sort of creature, boys, that nature did intend For to walk right through the wall, me boys, without that Grecian pen She never wore a chignon, I want you all to know That I met her in the garden where the praties grow She was singing an old Irish song called Gragal McCree Oh, what a wife she'd make for an Irish boy like me. I had an important business, but did not like to go. And me for in the garden where the praties grow. For she was just the sort of creature, boys, that nature did intend. For to walk right through the world, me boys, without that Grecian bend. She never wore a chignon, I want you all to know that I met her in the garden where the praties grow. Says I, my pretty Kathleen, I'm tired of single life. If you have no objection, I'll make of you me wife. She answered me so modestly and curious very low, saying you're welcome to the garden where the praties grow. For she was just the sort of creature, boys, that nature did intend for to walk right through the world, me boys, without that Grecian bend. She never wore a chignon, I want you all to know that I met her in the garden where the praties grow. So it's now that we are married and we're blessed with children three. Two galleons like their mama and a boy the image of me. We'll rear them up together the way they ought to go. And we'll ne'er forget the garden where the praties grow. For she was just the sort of creature, boys, that nature did intend. For to walk right through the world, me boys, without that Grecian bend. She never wore a chignon, I want you all to know that I met her in the garden where the praties grow. Right, that was Dick Dineen there. We're going to 
continue now we're going to make it as varied as possible we have um, Sean Murray from Cool Aid this time a man very well known after his good performance in Kerry Radio uh, man he's after making a good few recitations as well as poems and he's going to do a poem for us this evening uh, a number called what what the blind man said I am a blind man, this world I'd like to see. I could see when I was young, but not since I was three. They say the sky is blue and the fields are getting green. Oh, what I'd give those colours to see. For when I go to bed and fall fast asleep, I dream and dream and dream that I can see. But when I awake and find it's a dream, oh, pity me. When I go to town any day of the year, I pray that to fall, I'm always in fear. I hear the people talk as they pass me by. They always seem to grumble, and I don't know why. I would like to see the sunrise in the spring and watch the small birds fly as they merrily sing and watch the young lambs play upon the rock so high and watch the farmer plough the land when fields are grand and dry. There are so many things that I would like to see. There are so many colours. There's 40 shades of green. So why do people grumble when they have their strength and health? They're always in a hurry and striving for wealth. If ever you go to town, be sure and help the blind, for God will bring you special luck if to them you'll be kind. And always be happy and fill your home with joy. For it's often I come home and for one hour I cry. So every spring brings Easter as we joyfully recall the promises of eternal life, the greatest gift of all. And may that season bring us luck and guide us big and small. May the Saviour walk among us and bless us one and all. Amen. Right, that was Sean Murray there. Now we're going to get a few tunes again. A few hornpipes this time from uh, Cousin of My Own. John Buckley all the way is from uh, Body Inch and Coolay. So we'll get John straight away. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, folks, we have the man of the house here with us now, Mr. Uh, John Joe Kaler. Yeah. <laughs> right, I think um, John Joe will probably sing a song for us in a minute, but we'd like to ask him a few questions first about uh, DRE, and uh, maybe John will tell us um, who owned this house to begin with. Well, I suppose um, this house was built in the late thirties, and it was firstly occupied by a man by the name of Dini Shea, who is now residing near Tunsworth Village, well, half a mile away. Um, he stayed here for some 25 years, I think. And then there was a man by the name of Paddy Coleman came here. Paddy Coleman? Paddy Coleman, yes. Yeah. He's, he's now residing in uh, McCroom. Yes. In some, and Maybe he had a large... Coleman's Park. It Coleman's was Park. Yes. It is, yeah, I know the man. This man had a. He, he partially reared a big family here, I would say by large, 10 or 11. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he moved out in after some 10 or 15 years, I think. He was maybe less, I'm not too sure about that. But then it was occupied by a man by the name Conley Han after that. So Con was here for about. I'd say in the region maybe have 10, 12 years as well. Yeah. Are they are about, you know, give or take. Um, and tell me, uh, um, uh, John Joe, is it, is it in Balivoni Parish? Uh, no, it's in Karagimna Parish, actually. Karagimna. Yeah. And um, the town land's name here is? It's Cobrook. Cobrook. So um, yeah, it's, it's Karagimna Parish, and uh, the town land would be Cobrook, Karagimna. And uh, we have the uh, Clash McGuire Wood just uh, across the road here from us as well. Yeah. Um, John Joe, what song are we going to sing for us this evening? I would sing, uh, as far as I'll try the old world colonial boys. That's a good one. Right. right. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Was a wild colonial by Jack Dogan was his name. He was born and raised in Ireland in a place called Castleman. He was his father's only son, his mother's pride and joy. And dear he did his parents love the wild colonial boy. At the early age of 16 years, he left his native home and to Australia sunny banks he was inclined to roam. He robbed the rich he helped the poor, he stabbed James McAvoy. A terror to Australia was the wild colonial boy. One morning on the prairie, as a jack he rode along, and listening to the mocking birds all singing their cheerful song. Out jumped three troopers, fierce in a grin, Kelly Davis and Fitzroy. They all sought out to capture him, the wild colonial boy. Surrender now, Jack Dogan. Come, you see, there's three to one. Surrender in the Queen's name, sir, for you are a blundering son. Jack pulled two pistols from his side and I glared upon Fitzroy. I'll fight, but not surrender, said the wild colonial boy. He fired a shot at Dini, which brought him to the ground. And firing point blank at Davis too, who fell dead at the sound. But a bullet pierced his brave young heart, 
from the pistol of his right. And that's how they captured him, the wild colonial boy. That was the man himself, the man of the day, John Joe Kaler, and I'm sure he picked a very appropriate song there on the wild colonial boy. <laughs> um, we're going to continue now with a very good friend of mine, and I'm sure a good friend of all of yours out there, a man that's playing with Blackwater Sound with a good few years, in fact, he's, he's leader of the Blackwater Sound. He's going to do a song, I think, first for us, and he'll finish off with a few hornpipes then. Mr. Peter Lee. Give me a big round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> You ask me why I look so sad on this bright summer's day Or why the tears are in my eyes and it seems so far away Come sit yourself beside me love and lay your hand on mine And I'll tell you of someone I love Long, long before your time I'm sitting here and thinking of Those days so long ago When I was just a child like you And the girl I used to know Two fields of green we left and played and sang our merry rhyme Oh, summer days were warmer than Long, long before your time To childhood years our love did bloom Till our hearts were just as one We promised each internal love in the church below the town We settled in this little house I was proud to call her mine For we were young and happy then Long, long before your time One lovely year was all we had until the sickness came They stole the roses from her cheek My tears they fell like rain For nine long months she carried you And in the end she died She chose to go so you might live Long, long before your time So you ask me why I look so sad On this bright summer's day Or why the tears are in my eyes And I seem so far away It's just you seem a lot like her when your eyes look into mine And you smile so much Just like she did Long, long before your time And you smile so much Just like she did Long, long before your time Hand 
job in them harm pipes. Uh, we're going to continue now with a good friend of mine, uh, Noel O'Leary. Uh, Noel at the moment is playing with his uncle, a group called Highway 41, and he hasn't his guitar with him today, but he's going to do a number that Johnny McAboy did, recorded some time ago. A number called, I think he'll introduce it himself there, because I can't think of it myself. Here he is, Noel O'Leary, give me a big round of applause. Watch your hurry, can't you stay and pass an hour away? And we'll sit and talk a while by candlelight. For when the long day's over, that's the time I feel the most. When I hear your footsteps fade into the night. You're restless, tell me why there's a tear drop in your eye. And I've seen it there a hundred times before. And I know you're going to leave me, and it always breaks my heart. For you seldom come to see me anymore. Well, I well recall that day when my ship had sailed away to a far off distant land across the sea. Where a cruel war was raging and time was standing still, and blind hatred was the other of the day. You're restless, tell me why there's a tear drop in your eye. And I've seen it there a hundred times before. And I know you're going to leave me, and it always breaks my heart. For you seldom come to see me anymore. Well, I know it can't be fair for a soldier's wife to hear how he held to keep his country proud and free. And no bronze, no fancy ribbons can never heal the pain when he comes back half the man he used to be. 
You're restless. Tell me why there's a teardrop in your eye. And I've seen it there a hundred times before. And I know you're going to leave me. And it always breaks my heart. For you sell and come to see me anymore. For you sell and come to see me anymore. Hey. Right, we have um, Sean Murray is going to come back and do a song for us. Uh, Sean is a mighty singer. Uh, he's going to do a song he said he heard 22 years ago, a song called Matt Highland. So here's Sean. There was a lord who lived in the town. Who had a lovely handsome daughter She was courted by A fair young man Who was a servant to her father But when her parents came to know They swore they'd burn him from the island But the maid she knew that her heart would break as she depart with young Matthailand. So straight away to her love she goes into his room to awake him, saying, Arise, my love, and go away. This very night you will be taken. I overheard my parents say, In spite of me they would transport you. So arise, my love, and go away. I wish to God I'd gone before you. They both sat down upon the bed For just a sight of one half hour And not a word did either speak As down the cheeks the tears did shower She laid her head upon his breast Around his neck, her arms entwined then. Not a duke or lord, or ere I'd wed. I'll wait for you, my own Matthailand. The lord he spoke with his daughter fair. One night alone on her bedchamber. Saying we'll give you leave For to bring him back Since there's no one to win your fair one She wrote a letter then in haste For him her heart was still repining They brought him back To the church they went and made a lord of young Matthailand. Right, that was uh, Sean Murray with a very difficult song, but sang very well, fair play to him. Um, we'll continue, I'll try a few polkas myself this time. Uh, these are a few polkas we got down in Waterford. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, folks, after that bit of music, we have uh, a good friend of mine here, Con Tomey. He's going to sing a song this time, and very old number called when an Irish boy is leaving. So give me a big round of applause there, let's. Con Tomey. As an Irish boy was leaving, leaving his native home, crossing the broad Atlantic, once more he'd wish to roam. And as he was leaving his mother, while walking down the quay, he threw his arms around her neck, and these are the words he said, A mother's love is a blessing, no matter where you roam. Keep it while she's living, you'll miss her when she's gone. Love her as in childhood, the feeble old and grey. For you'll never miss a mother's love till she's buried beneath the clay. And as the years grow longer, I'll settle down in life. And I choose a nice young Irish girl and take her to be my wife. And as the kids grow older, they'll play around my knee. And I'll teach them the very same lesson that my mother taught to me. A mother's love is a blessing. No matter where you roam, keep it while she's living, you'll miss her when she's gone. Love her as in childhood, the people old and grey, for you'll never miss a mother's love till she's buried beneath the clay. <laughs> right, we have a man here alongside me who's going to sing a very appropriate song, he said himself. A uh, song that's very well known. Number called, this is Dan Minnie, by the way. A song called, Oh Sweet Holy Moses, She's 90 Years Old. So give me a big round of applause there. Right, hey, Dan. One morning whilst walking down Dolly Mount Strand, I met a young maid and she dressed very grand in feathers and finery and jewel of gold. I thought her a virgin just nineteen years old. I soon fell in love with that beautiful dame. I asked where she came from, she said, Bangor, Maine. So very soon after our wedding was told, I was married to the damsel of 19 years old. So after the wedding, I thought I would rest. <laughs> to retire for the night, this young maid, she undressed. A cat lord a wadding from her way she unfold. She was nearer to ninety than a nineteen year old. She screwed off her fingers till she left on but three. She screwed off her right leg out down from the knee. She took out her forty, she had twenty nine. And she pulled off her fourth wig, so cool and so blind. When I woke the next morning, I thought I would faint. 
When down from a rosy cheek came a full quarter paint, and on her left shoulder a hump I behold. Oh, sure, sweet holy Moses, she was a ninety-year-old. So all ye young ladies, when courting ye go, examine your darlings from the head to the toe. Or if ye don't like me, ye'll be sold. Ye'll be rolling a hairpin of ninety years old. thank everybody that came here today to support this I, I think this great occasion and there is no doubt about it but you know this is a kind of a difficult place to come into you know the rose leading into it is not great by no means oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could say that again too but and uh, you know those I asked came and I really appreciate it there is no doubt about it and uh, I think this sort of show we are here today <coughs> is something that's being, is gone, is dead and buried, really, like. And I, I would like to see the likes of this thing resurrected again, once Hands again, because this oh. is, this oh. is, oh. you know, Hands on. Hands on. This, this sort of thing was like the old times, you know, when people used to go to houses squirting and they'd kind of, uh, you know, have a chat and start up their own sing song and card and whatever, whatever instruments they may have, and I think, was a great, and I hope, I hope to God that it will, because it is a brilliant, a brilliant setup, you know. Now, uh, uh, to finish off, I would like to thank Danjo very much indeed, because I always, oh. I assume he is the quiet hero behind uh, the camera, you know. Uh, I would say Danjo is, a, is an underestimated man, really, because he's explored and exploited so many people. It's just unbelievable. And he he sure should be appreciated, you know, and uh, he deserves a big clap. And he and he 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 And 